Hey guys, what's up? It's Mariana. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you probably can tell, I have no makeup on. This is what I look with a bare face. I'm doing that because for this video, I'm going to be talking about skincare. My last skincare video was almost two years ago, which is crazy to think about. Then my skin has improved in so many ways and I've changed a couple of the products that I've used and I just have gotten into such a better routine and I thought this would be a good chance to talk about that because um, maybe some people's New Year's resolution is to have better skin. What I'm gonna do is instead of going like step by step of my routine, I'm just gonna show you all the products I use and kind of how some I use during the day and some I use at night. I will first say in my last video, I'm pretty sure I used all Mario Badescu products. This time around, I don't use completely all. I kind of mix and match some now. For the most part, it's still mainly Mario Badescu. I do find that they are the best product for my face. They kind of work with all skin types, which is really nice, because mine's kind of a mix between dry and oily, and it's rather sensitive. So the first thing I do is I always go in with a cleanser. So the cleanser I use is this one. This is the Mario Badescu Cleansing Enzyme Gel. And what's really nice about this, as I said, if you're someone with kind of mixed skin, it works really well with balancing it um, so it doesn't get too oily or too dry. It's also very nice and light and refreshing, so if you have sensitive skin like mine, it's not too rough on it. So I use just about a little dab of this in the morning and at night. Once I do the cleanser, which is the most important part, I've learned the importance of toner. Um, and before, I used to use a Mario Badescu one, but now I use this one. Um, this is the Thayer's yeah, I think I'm saying that right, witch hazel formula, and it's in the scent or formula of rose petal. Um, sorry, the canister is all like messed up and stuff, but this stuff is great, um, and this stuff is nice too because you don't have to go anywhere kind of fancy for it. You can get this simply at a Target or Walgreens. Um, so toner is really good because it kind of like closes your pores, which is nice. Um, also, getting something with witch hazel is really, really helpful for your skin. Um, I was using a lot of witch hazel products when I was abroad because they're very popular in a lot of like European facial products I have found. Um, and they're really good because they do a very good job of just kind of like tightening and closing the pores. So the two work really well together because you first open by like cleaning everything out and then you close the pores with these so then no other dirt can get in. The next thing I do is I go in with some rose water spray. Um, this is the Mario Badescu one. This is just like a tiny like travel size one that I have. Um, you can use these instead of the big bottles. These actually last you pretty long. But I like to do two sprays of this right when I'm done with the toner and the cleanser. Um, and I'll do a little spray before I go to bed as well. I also do the toner before I go to bed too. It's important to do that in the morning and at night. Um, this is also great just to have maybe even an extra one like in your bag. So when you're on like your day just doing stuff and you're feeling like greasy or dry, this is a great thing just to do another quick spray on your face and it really kind of just like hydrates you, which is really nice. And rose water is apparently very, very good for your skin. So if you can integrate rose water into all of your products, the more the better. The last product that is basically used like every single day is this. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost it's in a whipped balm. So I'll open it up so you guys can see it. It kind of looks like this. It almost looks like ice cream in a way. But um, what's really nice about this is that it's for your whole body. Um, you don't have to use it just for your face. So I use this on my face, but also on like my neck and like my decollete area and a little bit on my arms. Um, and in the winter, now that it's really dry, I also put a little bit on my legs because those tend to get very dry in the winter. Quick tip for women. The two kind of like areas of your body they say like are really easy to kind of see are aging are your hands and your decollete. So if you can moisturize those as much as you can, like it helps like in all the long run. Now I'm gonna go on to some quick products that I use not every day, but every once in a while if I have like breakouts or just like not too often because they can be a little too much on the skin. So the first one is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. So you've probably seen so many YouTubers use this, but this product is really great. This is for like before your blemish like breaks. So if, it's, so if you're like feeling it or it emerges on your skin, you do this first um, to kind of try to like 
catch it before it gets too bad. But then, like most people, sometimes you give in and you pick at it and you pop it or say, even if you're not touching it, but like it gets kind of like infected from like makeup and sweat or it just by accident pops. The next best thing to do is this. So this is the Mario Badescu Healing Powder. Basically how it works is there's like a little like pad um, and you just fill it with the powder and you just tap it on your face. It's best to use probably before you go to bed and this kind of like helps just heal the area. So I do it a lot over here, like on my cheeks and like my chin because these are these tend to be the worst areas that I break out a lot. Next thing is probably one of my favorite products. Um, it's hands down my favorite, 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 favorite face mask and that is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. So it's a white clay. It's pretty thick and it's made to kind of like really purify and also minimize your pores. I will say don't use this too often. When it comes to these like thick clay masks, you're not supposed to use them like a lot. Um, I do this about once a week, maybe even once every two weeks. Um, Cause I do find after time, it could make my face react in certain ways, like nothing crazy, but just maybe make it like a little extra oily or a little extra dry. But this is a great, great one. It's a, it's a bit expensive, but I will say I bought this like six months ago and I still have like that much in it, which is pretty impressive. So these things do last really, really long. So I think it's a good investment. The last kind of like product I use on my face and just body in general is, is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. This is the Moroccan Rose. They have a bunch of different um, smells if this is one that you don't like, but I really like this because it's a nice kind of delicate scrub. And for scrubs, I try to do them once a week when I'm in the shower. And again, I try to do like my neck and my decollete area. Um, I'll even go a little bit down onto my chest, depending on like how dry I am, like especially now in the winter. I do like a little bit on my face, nothing too crazy, because I have rather sensitive skin, so I don't want it to be like too harsh on my skin. But this is a great one, and it smells amazing. And trust me, when you come out of the shower, you feel so, so smooth. But before I'm done with this video, I do want to give some quick tips to kind of help your skin. Um, I did this before in my other video, so I thought it would be helpful to do this again. I would say the best, best tips for having clear skin are um, drinking a lot of water. So watching what you're drinking and just mainly sticking to water because um, a lot of those extra like sugary drinks make you break out. Also watching what you eat, especially dairy intake. I know I've said this before, but dairy is filled with a lot, a lot of hormones and those hormones can kind of mix with your own and make them imbalanced and then you can have really serious breakouts. And lastly I would say is try to stick with a routine, which is really important. And also I would say if you have the time and money, I would try to get a facial once a month. Um, you don't have to go anywhere like super crazy. If you just go somewhere that they can just like actually physically extract everything and really clean out your pores, your face is like a fresh palette, that really, really makes a difference. Um, if you're in the LA or New York area, there are Mario Badescu salons and the basic just like like super minimal basic facial is $65 I believe which is like a lot to some people I don't think it's too much um, personally because I've gone to other places where they've been like exuberance amounts of like over like $150 and it's honestly I don't think worth that much money I think $65 is a pretty good price considering like they do a very very good job um, and what's nice too is, is that when you're done with their facials, you can get like free samples and stuff, which is major, major perk. That's it for this video. I hope this was like helpful in some sort of way. I'm sorry I didn't like actually show myself washing my face, but I think I'm going to do a morning routine soon, so you'll see it then. If you have any questions or want to comment down below like what products you use, that'd be great. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye!